G'day. Today we're doing a bit of work on a Mitsubishi Pajero. Got the five speed automatic in it. And what's happening with it? He's got the torque converter clutch cycling. And what happens there is that the torque converter clutch is being applied and disengaged constantly. And what what's happening is overheating the transmission. So one little upgrade we can do without taking the transmission out, we've got the valve body out and a part. And I've just gone through and just made sure there's no sticky valves. You can just gently try not do it in a spot where you can damage anything. But I've gone through, all the valves are fine. But what's happening, this valve here, this one's the torque converter clutch valve. I'll leave a link uh, to the Sonex page that um, refers to this little valve here. The torque converter clutch valve. I'm just going to pull the pin out. And we're just going to try and push that valve out. If I just push that in and just let it hammer that little plug in, there it is, it's nearly come out. Now you want to be careful you don't damage the valve. Well this one we're replacing anyway, but if you were doing this job, you try and not damage anything when you're getting it out. Sometimes these get stuck in pretty hard, you just have to patiently take it out. Now we've got the end plug, we'll put that there. Take the valve out. There's a valve and a spring. That goes over here. And there's the the kit, the upgrade kit for the torque converter control valve. And to make sure that that Sonex valve fits you've got to measure all these 342 just make sure it'll fit in this bore and there's what i'm talking about i'm on the sonax website and you can see you've got to make sure that all those valve sizes match in order to be able to use this kit and there's a diagram of what it actually does there's more sealing surface and it'll actually will sit on a new spot so if your bore in your valve body is worn out the new valve will actually sit in a new spot and seal a lot better they also come with an o-ring which seals that little end plug makes it seal a lot better there and you can also see that this same valve will cater for quite a few other Mitsubishi, Hyundai and Kia vehicles as well if you have a similar sort of issue with the torque converter clutch cycling too much and creating a bit of heat. Comes with a little instruction booklet. Got the valve, the O-ring and the end plug. That's where the O-ring goes on. Now we're going to reuse the original spring the o-ring just goes in that groove there. Don't know why they didn't put it on there, like so. And basically, we just fit it all back in like that. And if you do see the comparison there, basically we put the spring in, push that valve in, just till it starts moving in that ball. Good idea to just double check that it's moving freely in there. There's the new plug, there's the old steel plug, end plug that goes on there, or end cap. And you can see with the old one, the pin would actually sit here. With the new one, if you have a look pin actually goes through that end plug and you can see how far that pin actually is pushing that 
whole valve further into the valve body. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Hang on. See, it's probably past halfway there. You can see that that is not even halfway there. You can see that moves nice and freely in there. Put a little bit of oil on that. Line up that pinhole with the top of that hole. And we just sort of, you don't just force it in or you could cut that o-ring. You just work it in until that hole lines up and we put our pin back in there. There we go. Now I'm just going to go through and put the valve body back together. put the dowel, the little dowels in there to keep the separator plate in place. The manual shaft, you need to align that with the little pin over here. Three little balls pushing up, springs on the bottom, pushing towards the separator plate. There's a little rubber ball there. Got this little plastic check valve. Now these are the little dowels that match the valve body to the case. Good idea to just put them in just so it lines everything up before you tighten everything. Make sure they push all the way down. One there and one over here. Make sure your manual shaft is lined up. You can actually put that in after if, if you do forget to put it in. We can take those dowels out now. There's also a gasket under there. There we go, ready to put back in the vehicle. Done the torque converter control valve Sonax improvement. If you choose to, you should have uh, done a line pressure test on it beforehand, but there is a line pressure adjustment screw on those. And what you actually do, I think it's five PSI increase for one full turn anti-clockwise. It's anti-clockwise because it's got like a little nut in there that's actually winding in as you do it undo it I've got that in another video um, there is a little pin that's on the selector that you need to be very wary of it dropping out when you're fitting this and also the accumulators if you've pulled them out or they would have fallen out when you took the valve body off you want to make sure they go in order as well I actually label them, put a little texture mark on it and underneath there will be a little code rating on it but just try and keep the springs with each accumulator
And when you're fitting it, you need to sort of balance it on top of the valve body, lift it up. You can find all that in another video where I've done the same thing. I hope that's helped. Bit of an improvement on your V5A51 transmission. Like I mentioned, it will do uh, that torque converter control valve improvement will handle a few other Mitsubishi, Kia and Hyundai vehicles. Worth checking it out. Just get a bit more life out of your transmission. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, buy me a beer if this any of this information has helped. Thank you for watching.